Welcome to part 2 of Lighten Up TFL Haters. There's condoning and then there's explaining why stuff happens. Don't get the two mixed up. The explaining is what we're doing. And we do it to try to educate you people. That way you can prevent such things from happening again. See, we're not condoning rape and murder. We don't think it's okay either. I beg to differ. It's not just possible, but likely, that undesirables can be pushed to be alone. Well, the feminist movement has done a lot of things that have been detrimental to the male gender, and you don't find that sexist? Perhaps the reason why we sound sexist is because that's all you're willing to hear from us. I mean really, the belief that we're sexist is all in your head. Duh, just like TFL, right? I mean lord knows there's nothing else inside the head of a TFL hater. If that's true then all the more reason why you should lighten up. We're just conspiracy theorists. I mean, what could we possibly say that could anger so many people? I mean, that's not really a computer screen that you're looking at. It's just a conspiracy theory. I mean, the sky isn't really blue, it's all a conspiracy theory. The earth isn't round, it's just a conspiracy theory. Water isn't wet, it's just a conspiracy theory. No way. That could never happen, it's just a conspiracy theory. It's all in your head. Your hollow head. You know, I did this years ago, and uh, here's how it turned out. I was told, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. The problem is the rest of humanity. If it wasn't for the way they treated you, you wouldn't be the way you are right now. I felt so good after hearing that. I'll be back with part 3 real soon.